Greetings everyone and welcome back to Dark Tides on Bilgewater, of Bilgewater. Same difference. At least I didn't say Devil Darlings. <laughs> Featuring uh, sleepy half sick people. Uh, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Tag yourselves, I'm sleepy. <laughs> Anywho, no intro yet because we haven't fought to one. There you go, there's your intro. So, last time you managed to scuttle the ship, defeat Commander Ledros, take his sword, but not actually equip it because, you know, that shit be cursed, yo. And mm -hmm. also sneak about without being fully detected by Gangplank. Yeah. Shocker. Also, uh, no pets were required because the rats were killed before anyone could do anything. And that's how it should be! <laughs> <laughs> no. I, mean, I, I mean, I still have my familiar. A familiar isn't a pet. A familiar is like a partner. Mm. So. Fuck your familiar. <laughs> you... <laughs> Went back, you got back to the town, you pushed a few zombies in a crate back into the water, and Grumble stole all the frigging coupons for a drinks at a bar. And... Watch it, the only one voucher per person. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you all started heading back towards the temple of Nagadaboros. This is the point where I go, fuck it. I need to lengthen this thing out on it, so it's funny I'm going to do a couple of quick rolls to see what random encounters fucking happen. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let me load up the charts, because I need to. I mean, it could be worse. I could be doing a, our friend Jack in another game where he rolls to see what the weather's like every day. It's true. It's a nine. Nine! So, <laughs> I think I mentioned this last time, but uh, as you're all going along, back towards the Temple of Nagadaboros, it's still like the market area. There's just like a few shops where you can go in just to buy your usual supplies, some places where you can go to eat. Uh, Places that are effectively known as kill houses, basically like a slaughterhouse for fish and sea creatures before being sent for food. And as you're passing one, you start to hear screaming coming from within. Hmm. I'm not sure about this. I'm half dead. <laughs> I will. I, I will do something to myself quickly. Okay. Because I can do this sort of for free. Maybe fish is screaming. I'm gonna just uh. Yep, that's fine. Roll on d4 plus four to get my selection hit points. Uh, that's six. Also, roll temporary me, hit points. Roll me a wisdom there, Rebecca, because you said maybe fish is screaming. Let's see if you are actually that naive. Is there like? Oh maybe god! I mean... should just keep walking. Did you say wisdom save? Uh, no, just a wisdom check, sorry. Did we take any rests at all? No. Uh, no. Okay. You I'm get on rest four when... for hit points. You get rest when you get back to the temple. <laughs> uh, yeah, that doesn't sound like fish screaming. That sounds like people screaming. I'll go. I'm going to go and bask it. Okay. Oh, uh, you... fuck you. As you, pick... <laughs> As you pick your head around there, uh, Feeny, roll me a perception. Oh, God. I mean, if it scares you that much, you don't have to go. Uh, you see it's not that it scares me, it's that I'm an inch away from death. You see people uh, kind of running out from the back, just like screaming. And then a couple of tentacles shoot out, so pull them back in. Oh no, go over! <laughs> I'm gonna go over. Uh, Romy and nature. Uh, nature, or is it? Yes. Oh my. It's a giant octopus. Oh boy, I don't know what that. I don't know if that, what that bodes for me. Uh, Big tentacle monster. 
You'd know that giant octopi, or as the name would suggest, they're large creatures. Well, I got to see other people, don't I? I'm, I'm a good person. <laughs> oh, you fucker. <laughs> I don't know how many points I have. I have four! I have 28! Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can't blame me for plotting this out. I rolled randomly on the chart and got this. The funniest part is this uh... was the one that you just about avoided last time because I said, I don't want to throw a combat at you. <laughs> Mm. It came back around. <laughs> so, you found uh, the giant octopus in this place, uh, Feeny. Are you going to tell the rest? Yes. Go on. <laughs> There's people being attacked back here. It's a beast, a, an octopus. An octopus. Okay. I mean, we we'll have to help them. Do we have to? Really? Do we have to? Yes. Why? Oh, you could cook it. I, I'm not a fan of cephalopod. You don't have to eat it. But two just grins. Uh, does anyone have any potions or healing or anything? Someone does. If we're going into this, I am very injured. I don't. Sorry. Uh, Feeny. Uh huh. As you're all talking there, you make me a perception check. Oh boy. Can Just Feeny. Oh Just boy. Uh, I'm always saying Feeny because Feeny was the one that kind of stepped in to have a look. Uh, you don't see this coming, Feeny, so... As you're there, all chatting... That is just... Yeah, we That's can hear you, Santa. Uh, yeah, oh, we can okay. hear you. That's yeah. not... You're just a bit I'm quiet. I'm doing the testing, though, that you guys do that, so I'm not paying no heed. Because it wasn't earlier. <laughs> That's not a... That's not a turn to hit you, there, Feeny. Uh, oh boy. Me in athletics or in acrobatics. <laughs> yep, yeah, no. Uh, you're all talking. Something just kind of grabs your leg, Feeny, and you feel yourself just kind of sweeps off your feet and being dragged into the shop by a tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep my voice down because there's somebody trying to sleep in the other room. Okay. Oh dear. Elder just shakes his head, gives the pamphlets over to, um, uh, which one are you right now? Alari. He hands them to Alari, takes out the fisher cleaver, Calamari! and jumps into the building. Did he just speak <laughs> again? Well, that was almost coherent. I think he said Calamari. <laughs> <laughs> She just kind of tucks the leaflets into her bag and then just kind of goes, well, I guess now we don't really have a choice. Okay, so who else is going in there after them two? Um, two, obviously. Okay. Yeah, uh, I'll, I'll head in. I, I guess so, I'll go in. Okay, uh, let me just load up that. Uh, I'm not going to load up a map for this because I didn't have a map prepared. I'm going to stand as far away from it as I can actually, while I'm still within eyesight. I say I don't have a map prepared. I may actually have a map prepared. I'll just use one of the other ones we never used before. So, uh, which one would be best? I'd say number four. Let me just get rid of these zombies first. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, giant octopus and zombies. And the shadow! And the wraith! Fun times for all! And, and the boss! The boss again. Yeah! Okay. Fun times for I'm all! Into the wrong place. Uh, you're a Larry at the moment, so... A Larry, I'm assuming you'd be the nearest to the door. Gal the charge. Oh yeah, yeah, she'd be as far away from it as she could be with a stall being inside of it. Right, uh... I have a plan, but... 
Then you might you might not lose health. Octopus. I take well, just give you fair in warning that if I get hit once, I'm probably going down. I type in octopus, I find bird icons. What the fuck's are this? <laughs> it is that. I need to just move it there so I can rotate it around. Because it is large, it is that size. And I'd say that Feedy would be around here being dragged it back towards it. We can't see it. You, you need to drag us over to that map if you want us to see it. Yep. It's fine, the audience can see it, you don't need to see it. <laughs> oh, I can see it now. I know, I dragged you all over. Uh, a turn, a turn, at all the turns for all the peoples. We have a double. I have to move you though so I can add turn. And a turn of Feeny. What the hell has happened there? Why have I got two Mariahs on the turn order? Why did you have a Grumble on the turn order order? I must have clicked Mariah twice rather than the Grumble. There we go. So, yeah, it's time for some of them initiatives. Please tell me roll to it just freeze on me. Okay, then. Uh, Feeny got a 17. <laughs> Alari got an 8. Poor Alari. Alari's just there like, ah. got the 22. Mariah with the 21. Grumble uh, got a 23. Grumble got the 23. That plus five fucking initiative. <laughs> I'm really still calling BS and some of your constant high rolls. Yeah, <laughs> and I've been sending pictures in to show you, my Yeah. Dear. Where Santa has some really of... good dice. Oh, yeah. We've well, I also treat my dice fairly, and I'm a bit of a neat freak when it comes to them. So, this one gets just so one taken care of. I have a cursed set of dice. Oof. Oof. Oh, no, I do too. Octopus. I don't use them. Octopus. Yeah, same. Also, I'm very much like Laura Bailey. If a dice starts to fail me, I put it in dice prison and never take it out. <laughs> so, it would be Golda first. Golda, you see Feeny being dragged towards the octopus. Uh, I'm going to... I imagine the octopus is quite panicked at them. It's in a restaurant, out of the water. Someone was going to eat it. Uh, roll me a nature. Someone's probably still going to eat it. <laughs> Uh, roll me one of them their natures. Uh, does Golda have any bonuses in nature? He actually has a minus. Um, Oof. so that's a 17. Uh, that's still good enough for it. You'd know that octopi can only breathe underwater. So, this thing's essentially holding its breath to try and keep up here. So, well, yeah, it's panicking. So, so Golda... <laughs> The wall behind it. Yes. Does that lead to the water? Yes, it does. You'd know that there would probably be like a little wharf behind it where they can catch fresh catches and bring it in. Um, Gold is going to slowly, in a non-threatening um, way, he's going to walk around the octopus. Okay. Yeah, I'll be able to get there. Um, and he's going to try and punch a hole through the wall for the octopus to get through. Okay, roll me a strength. That would be 19. Yeah, you start to punch a good hole in there, like a good shaped hole. It's only roughly around your height, but octopi or octopi. octopi. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like, he's an octopus. He can squeeze through. He won't mind. Yeah. So that's your turn done. Patu. Mm. <clears throat> well, I suppose Patu will help. I'm awful with names. Oh, God. Beanie. Right. Patu's just going to try and. Uh, while Grumble is doing that, gently remove the uh, 
octopus tentacle from Feeny. Okay, that would be an opposed strength check, I believe. So I need to draw strength? Yep. You actually do. You use the octopi's general wetness, just as like a bit extra lubrication, if you would, and just kind of slip Feeny out of its grasp before it can get a sucker on though. And I'll say, right now, if you wish, it will look at the hole, look at you all, and it's going to see, it's going to roll now to see if it just escapes. Uh, they go above 10. It squeezes through the hole and you hear a loud splish as it escapes. Oh. Wait, so well, this thing has a minus 3 to intelligence? Surprisingly, yes. Giant Octopi have a minus 3 to intelligence. Uh, yes. most, beasts, most beasts have low intelligence. It doesn't mean they're not intelligent. Like it doesn't mean they're not smart. It just means they're not sapient. Is what, uh, or is what it's trying to do. Wow. It's one of those weird yep. things. Um, but uh, is the kitchen unlocked? Uh, it does seem to be. Yes. Gold is just going to walk in there and grab like a handful of like fried fish or whatever. And walk out munching. Like I said, there's like several people in there that hid from the octopus. Just like cowering <laughs> in there. You just watch you just walk oh. in. Just grab a handful of fresh fish from the side that haven't even been gutted yet. Just kind of waltz back out. Yeah, basically. Payment for getting rid of the octopus. Pretty much. Like, they're not going to complain about someone saving them from an octopus. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was less violent, thankfully. Let's move, please. Get back before anything before else happens. Before gonna... you fall over from being tired. With his hands raised. He wants his leaflets back. I'll hand him uh, the leaflets back. Don't really care. He's just got them. He just starts happily chatting along. So, as you all continue along, the it starts to get into busier areas now. As I said, life started to try and return back to normal. People are going back out, starting drinking. Everything seems to be like a jolly fine time. Yeah, then you have us just walking through the town, beaten and bloodied. Yeah. But and... surprisingly enough, hasn't been beaten. Yep. And you, I would have. Be the, you would be the most uh, distracting thing at the moment. Was it not for the sudden shower of sparks that explodes just above you all? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Draw me your perceptions, all of you. Why? Can we not just get back nope. without <laughs> something happening? Nope. nope. <laughs> 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 the one person that doesn't want anything to do with this sees it. Uh, Mariah, would you care to take in a perception? Mariah, uh, Rebecca. Rebecca! Do -do -do -do. We didn't mean to make you cry. If you're not back again in three minutes, you'll miss out on some tea. <laughs> Rumble has tea. With some fine bread. Well, I sorry, I may not, my mic may not have caught it, but I did have lings after the teeth. Oh, ah, teeth lings! I thought you said tea, and it's like. No, no, no! Oh. It, 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 it's <laughs> you made me well, sound well, so I got not twenty. Lings. Not twenty. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
as you uh, grumble, Feeny and Patu, you're all kind of too distracted at the moment to just kind to avoid the mass crowd that's kind of rushing about from panic. Uh, Alari and Feeny, however, you two look up to see a small figure kind of hop down onto Joe. When you have like a market thing, you've got like the little canopy thing just above it. Mm -hmm. It's like using fabric. You see a small figure kind of bounce down onto that. Uh, the small figure looks like this. Oh, powder monkey. Uh, oh, no. Powder keg monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Why? And it seems to just kind of starts to run away into like a cluster of what seems to be rougher people. And just above it, you can see a couple of people start to drop down as well after it. Just shouting, Get it! Get it now! It knows the information. Get it before it can get back to her! Uh, you can roll me, all of you, history checks. Okay. Did you not see the monkey? Uh, I'm assuming, well, Alari and Mariah, do you point out the monkey? I just kind of Alari's yeah. just kind of watching like, hmm. Uh, Mariah pointed out, so there you go. Oh. You can roll the histories. And Alari gets it. Feeny just about. Patu, unfortunately not. Mariah, unfortunately not. Grumble does get it. A dirty 20, but it's, it's a 20 nonetheless. Uh, you'd know that Powder monkeys are generally under the service of misfortune. Yeah, uh, which I always find weird character build wise. <laughs> yeah. However, Goldie, you look up at the guys that are shouting above. And do you recognize some of the icon iconography of the Dreadway? You think that these guys are under the servitude of Gangplank? Oh. <laughs> so, between you all, I'm going to need hey. you all to decide one thing. Are you going to participate in this battle and save the monkey, or are you going to avoid the battle? Look at you. Guys, what do you say we cause a little chaos and buy? Our temporary boss's friend a chance yeah. to escape. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Okay. Uh... No need to make it a full-on fight. Just slow them down. Are 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 they walking like? Are they walking on top of buildings? Uh, or what are, are they walking on top on? of buildings? But they're starting to descend now to the ground level as well. And you notice there have to be six thugs. Golda's Gold is gonna look around for a moment. Um, you should. Um, God is thinking, so this will take a minute. You all just look over to Golda. They've got like the uh, little buffering icon that YouTube has. <laughs> it's like ears going on in his head as smoke's coming out of his ears. Um... Alari would also just kind of, as he's thinking, just dragging him along and just kind of following after them. You so that we don't lose them. You start to see a couple of tiny, tiny imps just gathering on Goldie's head, slowly building the light bulb. That will become the idea. <laughs> Goldie has an idea now. They flip the light switch. <laughs> you said there was a crowd of people around us, right? Yes, there are. They are quite panicked. They are quite panicked. Yes. What are they more so like? Are they panicked, like running around, or? Uh, panicked running away from the gunshots firing from the thugs towards the monkey. Speaking of which, 
if you're all heading towards the crowd, by the sounds of things, I'm going to need you all to make me an athletics or an acrobatics to, you know, not be trampled. That too would just fly over that. I'm going to say that... Bye! (laughs) (laughs) But before we actually go through the crowd, I was going to say that this might be what Galda does. Uh, Um, Is there anybody in the crowd that seems a bit more frantic? Uh, I'm going to say, yeah, probably the one person that kind of knocked over a stranger and trampled them slightly. The one that just kind of stepped on a lorry. (laughs) Gold's gonna gonna walk over to him, kind of look him in the eye. Uh, Alari, take just one. How much? One. Okay, I'm not dead yet, but I'm close. Yep, so you've done that. <laughs> They're going to make a... Yep, they're kind of frozen in place. Just like... <laughs> Gold is just going to grab them. <laughs> and he's just going to throw them at the thugs. Roll me a strength check. Because... Oh, yeah. Um, oh, God, what else were you saying there? And because they're on the other side of the crowd at the moment, he's just going to hide in the crowd. <laughs> Hello, Pokemon Go. What? <laughs> he's a, uh, here. Check, right? Yeah, roll me a strength check. That is... Maurice is there like... Ow. Ow. Can we a go, lesser ow. Can we go back now? Which also has ow in it. Yeah, you kind of yeet this person. Uh, they're kind of like a tubby guy. And how many will he knock over? Let's see what their deck save is. Uh, they don't get any bonuses or negatives to deck, so it's flat d20. Uh, first one, bold over. Second one, bold over. Third one, bold over. Fourth one, bold over. Fifth one, it's fine. Kind of sidesteps. Sixth one, bold over. Yeah. So, you knocked over all but one. And that one's going to make a perception to see if they can spot you. With disadvantage, because you're small and you're in the crowd. So, uh... Yeah, again. Alari's just pushing herself back up, like, ah. Uh, yeah, they're not spotting you. Everything hurts. Where did that where did they go? And I should say, because of that, Gold is you've also lost your... through the crowd. I should say, Gold is just weaving through the crowd, getting a little bit closer, like a shark, as he's doing so, just mumbling to himself, da na 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 uh, they have also lost track of the monkey because of this. <laughs> Ari just stands up, just like holding her chest where she was stamped on, just like, I think they broke a rib. <laughs> I think you, you think Gold had broke a few ribs on the guy that he threw. It's like, uh, can we just go back to the temple, please? Uh... This yes, please. Hello. No. Yeah. As you say this, you see a glint in the corner of your eye, and as you look over, you see that last standing person pointing a pistol at your head. Now, what would be in the temple that's so important then? A bed. Hmm. Hello, is this is <laughs> the direct that I get the microphone. No, you're here. It's like a bed. You um... dumbass fuck. Look how injured I am. <laughs> Can I just like just turn and hit this person with uh, an eldritch blast? <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, a lorry going race. off at them like gold is also racing up at the moment. You are the stupidest piece of shit Thanks. I've ever met. That's a really crappy die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, but he still hits him and just distracts him. Throws his gun off for a bit, just like. Alari just kind of is like staring at him going, and just kind of like <sighs> sets like her hand on fire and is just kind of like back away or get turned to cinders. Rob. 
and intimidation. Damn it! It's fine. Hmm. You know, uh, it's actually very fine. <laughs> Oh, he failed. Is he just kind of looks between you all? Just like to the pistol? And then just always, it's like... The boss will hear this. I remember your faces. I don't fucking care. I I should be speaking of... Galder is going to try and jump out of the crowd at his face. Okay. Uh, Roll me uh, acrobatics. Let's see if you can leap up. From the crowd. Nothing as well that he did a real too well to try and avoid it, so you know. Uh, that's a fourteen plus five, so that Yeah, you a... latch onto it. <laughs> yeah. I'm just kind of looking him in the eyes. <laughs> Get your damn pet off my face! As he points the freaking gun in your face. Yeah. I wouldn't call him that if I were you. Oh, he's you're just going to be small. Point blank with his gun right now? Yeah, he's got it kind of like right to the side of your head. Cold is going to up the him. <laughs> I got Alari's eyes turn yellow. Yep. Uh, what was that? Dom- what was? How did I say Domino? What was that? Uh, <laughs> Gold is gonna snap it from him. Okay. Uh, let's see. I won't say it'd be a sleight of hand because you know sleight of hand's more a sneaky thing. That's a dex check. Okay. Because it's like My it's not like trying fucking... to rip it out of his hand. It's just like trying to slap it away from his hand. So. And you have to beat, you know, it's only a nine. It's not that bad. You've got a very good chance of slapping the, his shit out of his hand. That is a... Um, that's a 21. Okay. You slap the gun out of his hand, it falls, and it goes off as it hits the ground. Golder's just going to open his mouth, bite down on the dude's head, just like, ah! Uh, oh god, no. Oh god, no. <laughs> um, uh, remind me, Dion, did you just become the monk one? Yeah. Do monks have to flick missile at that level yet? Uh, yeah. Uh, you might want to use it, because that gun's going off in your direction. No. <laughs> okay, I'll use it. Uh, let me first of all roll to see if it actually hits. Because it may just go whizzing past your head. Uh, yeah, sorry, plus two to hit. So that's six, so I'd reduce it to six. Eleven won't hit you anyway, so it just goes flying. No. So that's... <laughs> Uh, so now you roll me a, a bite attack, Santa, with advantage. Yeah, the reason she switched is because I used Produce Flame to set my hand on fire. Oh, yeah. So she had to make the wisdom save. Everything seems to be out to get you today, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> and I, wouldn't mind if I'm, I wouldn't mind if it were me physically targeting, but... It just seems to be random rolls. Do not like her today. <laughs> Monks on three hit points, like... <laughs> oh, oh, ow. Why do I hurt so bad? What happened? So, uh, Santa, <laughs> it is a bite attack I need off you. With advantage. Okay, I just made it. I just was. I was just like, "Why does it hurt so much everywhere? How much for me? I have no hit points." So I was trying to do that, and I did all my microphone muted, and nobody heard me. <laughs> Help me! No. <laughs> uh, is, is Santa there? Santa. Do, 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 do. 
we use the same pun on you because we've got no creativity. It's not even December, you don't have to go do your work. Come on, come back. Chop, chop, Santa. I think we lost the Santa. My it's... comedy's gone down the toilet. It's fine, I'm going to say that he got bitten on the head because, you know, technically he would have counted as being grappled by Grumble. So you all watch as uh, Golden just kind of bites this guy on the head and he starts running, just like squirming around trying to rip this little cobalt off his face. <laughs> she'll just no, or she'll just kind of lean over it's like um what did I miss and why does everything hurt so much well eventually uh, Goldie he collapses into a fruit stand behind him out cold Golder will just release. Uh, he didn't care about the dude. He just walks over, looks up at who is now Dumbass. down here, picks up the gun, picks up his leaflets, walks away. And as the crowd begins to dissipate with no sign of the monkey, uh, there does seem to be one person standing there watching. Who? Hey. As you look at them, they are dressed weird. Like, they are not dressed like your typical Piltor... Uh, not Piltor... Not Bilgewater. <laughs> They're not dressed like your typical Bilgewater citizen. It's not like rags and pirated gear. It seems to be more smartly dressed. A waistcoat. A stop... Uh, pocket watch. Just kind of hanging out. Goggles affixed to the head. And despite the goggles, he's also pushing up a pair of thick glasses. Oh, um, uh, uh, you must be the heroes. Meh. You know, the heroes of Bilgewater, the one that got rid of the mister. I mean, let's, let, let's put it this way, uh, tall reptile, small reptile, short stack, fire her, and bird. Meh. You're kind of distinctive, you know, it's kind of easy to find you in a crowd. Did he just call Golder short stack? No, he called Mariah short stack. He called you small okay. reptile. Okay. Golder will accept small reptile. He will not accept short stack. Mostly because Golder doesn't know what reptile means. <laughs> but Golder's just like... <laughs> he kind of pulls up like, a small notebook at this point. Just starts scribbling. It's like, uh, my name's Nedry. I'm, I work for the press in uh, the Piltover Times. I'd like to get your story if I could. Uh, just like a bit of an interview, uh, a bit of what happened there. You'll make front page news. Well, you'll have to share front page. Uh, we've also got to give tribute to our friend Dr. Imahara. Oh, you made me sad. Now. Yeah, I'm sad as well. Uh, this is my nice way of paying tribute to Grant Imahara. Rest in peace. It's mm. good. Rest in peace, you beautiful bastard. So, uh, yeah. who's in charge out of you, lad? Golders just looking gonna... at each other. <laughs> Golders just gonna point at the fire lady. <laughs> he goes up to you, Delris. Uh, so, uh, um, can you tell us just in your own words what happened there on the ship? Uh. <laughs> we, uh,. Made our way down the docks to a, a large uh, ship, and there was this large uh, person. He was um, very. Uh, it's just us uh, taking uh, notes as you're saying this. As you look down <laughs> at the notepad, he's even including like the ums and errors. Uh... He uh, was uh, quite, quite imposing. He was kind of shadowy. And... So you're saying he's an undead? He's saying like, what are the, uh, what are the denizens of the shadow elves? Yeah. <laughs> great, 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 great. And, um... uh, is it true that you destroyed the ship afterwards? That you sunk the ship? 
just kind of looks to the others. Gold is just nodding. Oh, right that was part of the job. Yes. Mm, well, yeah, it's uh, very interesting. You said part of the job. Uh, who gave you the job? Uh, I... Um... Just kind of looks to the others again, like... Gold is going to point to the tavern. Very nice. Makes no switch. And one last thing. Is there any truth to the rumors that some people saw a yordle among you? Mariah? You just kind of just squirm on the spot as he says that. You currently got your glamour up so he doesn't spot you as a yordle, but. Uh. Well, I have seen one recently, but like they went over that way, and she just pointed to a random direction. Roll me deception. Uh, oh my god, that's so good! You say they went off in that direction. <laughs> you point towards the ocean. They were on a boat. Robert, oh, no, uh, roll, deception, roll deception as well to try and save this. <laughs> yeah, that works. He just kind of looks quizzically at you, um, Ray, and then just looks stupid. Ah, that makes more sense. That makes more sense. Uh, uh, boat and uh, 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 thank you very much for the interview. That's all. Uh, what's your names again? Uh, uh I'm uh, Delaris. Delaris and a. Uh, Scenery. Scenery, uh. Looks to. to he's Galder. Galder. <laughs> uh. Can't speak. How about you, uh, bird person? My name is Patu. Patu? <laughs> I get it, like, like your species. And uh, <laughs> you, a uh, small person. Maria. Maria. Uh, thank you for that, and uh, I'll get back to Piltover as soon as I can get this published. And, you know, if you're in Piltover any time, feel free to stop by. Uh, 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 and he kind of just quickly jogs off. That was odd. Oh, you think that's odd? You should see other Piltover people. Uh, I've never been to Piltover. <laughs> uh, Dallas, roll me a history uh, as well as you, Patu. Yay, history. Yeah, you don't recognize Piltover too much, uh, Dallas. Uh, Patu, She's never been to Piltover. You've heard of the Piltovian Times, but you can't re really recall what type of newspaper it is. Mm, yeah. Phoenix, so... you've never been to either, so you wouldn't know, so you won't be able to roll on that. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, Golder, have you ever been to Piltover? Golder spent over 300 years traveling after the incident in Acadia, so yeah, we yeah. probably would have at least heard of it. Uh, with the 15, you slightly remember it in Piltover Times as a newspaper there. Uh, uh, back when you uh, was there, though, it would have been like a upheld, very respectable newspaper back when you were there. Shoulder always preferred Zon. Had more fish. Yeah, the fish tank did have like three eyes at least, but I mean it just added spice. Yeah. Like radioactive fish. That's 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 just like that's like salsa on fish tacos for Golder. So that's uh I guess, do we have to go see the tavern owner? Was that yeah. a thing? He's shaking his head no, just like <laughs> No, we're going to see Miss Forge. Yeah. <laughs> so, where, whereabouts is she? To the temple. <laughs> I guess I we like should... I you so that you're not saying it so loudly. So, as you <laughs> all head towards the Temple of Megadoboros once more, 
Uh, the crowds further ahead, they seem to be gathering back up again. And then you start to hear a few of them just be like, Oh shit, shit, no, no, make way, make way, make way. And you see the crowd part before you. Mm. What seems to be two rows of people start to walk forward, hoods up, their uniforms and outfits emblazoned with what seems to be different kinds of tentacles and imagery. They seem to be all carrying these small senses. Uh, you can all roll me religions. Oh, oh my. Also, unfortunately not. Delris, yes. Feeny. Feeny. Uh, unfortunately not. I was going to give you a I don't get it. Delris is just no religion from dumb. this area. Just your own religion. Uh, Grumbler, no. Uh, Mariah? Do we have to? Do we have to break it? Oh, thank you. We don't have to break out the queen again. Uh, that was your only one that recognizes this to be Nagadaboros imagery. And at the be, be, coming from behind both these two rows, seems to be a mountain of a woman. Like a mountain of a woman. Yes. Hang on. This looks up like. Uh, Hang on, I need to I need to get the image. You all know who this is going to be anyway, I'm guessing, but I need to get the image anyway. So give me a second while I... Uh... I don't. I don't know which one I was supposed to be made on at this point. I, I kind of know who it is. Damn it, that's not a good image. I don't know <laughs> anything. I tried to find like a good image of her, but you know, it's kind of hard. That will do. Save images. So give me a second because I didn't prepare for this, but then the idea yeah. came to me. I was like, this is fucking cool. I want to do this. Also, she. That it is Inferno. What? I posted it in voice chat. Uh, yeah. That's her. <laughs> Hello. Oh. Oh boy. Yep. Uh, just uploading the image today so I can just show the chats because some people that are watching this may not be uh, up on the league, so they wouldn't know. So they need a reference. And this is what you call a dead Ezreal. <laughs> uh, oh, definitely. There she is. You see her walking with her giant idol in hands. Just oh, yeah. Prayer as well. Yeah, it's a fucking mountain of wall if I've ever seen one. Yeah. Just kind of there, it's like, step out of the way. Oh, okay. And then just kind of steps to the side. Yep. Uh, are you all stepping to the side as well? Yeah, yes. Sure. So, as you all step to the side, the other like religious followers, just kind of walk forward still. They seem like even if you stayed there, they wouldn't break the stride and they most likely would shove you to one side. Yeah. As Alawi passes, however. Oh, God. She Delris looks... would be staring up at her like... She yeah. uh, looks over to you all. She kind of just nods to you all and then stops in her tracks. Too you, turf this uh, shit. Y yes. Not you. Oh. And she's going to reach forward <laughs> and grab you by the scruff of your clothing, Feeny, and drag you towards her. Oh no! You're That's from so God. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> Good, uh, you're an outsider among these areas. What are you doing here, spreading your false words of your gods? What? I'm uh, sorry, what? Wait, he, mm, he just helped us, face. helped us this deal with the mist? Like, he just helped us do that. He's not I'm a woman! So she's <laughs> helping us do that. <laughs> You're a lizard, it's hard to tell. Uh, Reptile genders. I mean, yeah, uh, don't exactly have boobs and dicks. 
It's just that, like, she's, gender neutral reasons when it comes she's, to physicality. She's just been helping us deal with the mist. She's not been spreading anything. Uh, uh, Roll me yeah. persuasions. I am terrible at this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get some insight on the ship. Hold on. She kind of looks to you. Oh Jesus! Like she kind of <laughs> looks to you quizzically. She kind of looks to you quizzically. The girl just starts to. Yeah, curiously around. nodding. And she just looks down to Gold and be like, "I see you. Are, I see that you have come face to face with darkness as well." <laughs> looks back to you, Feeny. Kind of just drops you, pushes you back slightly. Very well, if you've done good for this city, then that is fine by me. The undead, they stop in their tracks. They do not keep moving. They do not pass on. They are uh, an insult to Nagataboros. But you, watch your mouth. If I catch you spreading word of your false gods here, I'll slap your jaw off. Okay. That, She's just taking it back. Absolutely violence. And with that, she will carry on her way. She's got those just like, huh. Oh, that could have gone much worse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you can roll me an insight on that if you want, Feeny. She has like, what's her problem? Yeah, no, she was telling the full-on truth. If she catches you spreading the word of <laughs> the Kirin, or any of the Targon gods here, she will quite literally slap your jaw off your face. Well, she's got the punch to do it too, I bet. I mean, she told <laughs> fucking... Uh, yeah, she's... It's okay. It's just, 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 just like I said, my window is a cat sitting on the windowsill. <laughs> Where did the tree come from on the second floor? <laughs> what? Either way, let's uh, keep moving. Yep, as you for now. as you continue on your way to uh, the Temple of Nagaraboros, you pass through the small garrison that you were held up in before. There's no sign of Tana, I believe her name was, the lady that tried to recruit you to Gangplank. Yeah. There's also no sign of the guy who you beat up. Yeah. But like, it just seems to be just like winding down in there, like people are taking their supplies back, people are just getting it tidied up. Yes. So yeah, this will be a thing. Like just going to speak to Miss Fortune this time her eyes are yellow and her hair is like red. Yep. And as you pass through the gates of the temple, you oh. enter the courtyard where she's waiting once more. And she just she's given order to a couple of her men. Uh the powder monkey that you saw earlier is on her shoulder at the moment. Just like relaying information to her. And she turns around. Gives a smile to you all as she heads over. Oh look, the powder monkey made it. <laughs> oh yes, uh, my friend here has been telling me quite a bit. Uh, told me that you also helped get buy him some time to get away. Two jobs yeah. done for me when I didn't even ask you to do one of them. That's loyalty I like to see in my people. Still, I believe I owed you a bit of a reward here, and uh, she is going to yes. roll something on you, Delris. Delris, her demeanor is completely <laughs> different. It's probably not going to be hard. She kind of smiles. Just like looking at you. So, uh, that's reward. I believe I said 20 gold pieces each, did I not? I just kind of looked at the others. Yes, that's, that's fine. Out <laughs> <laughs> of character, fuck you! <laughs> Two's just going to look at Feeny. You can have 20 gold. Okay. I need I need a nap. 
just kind no, of looks um... up to just kind of like out of character i can't quite remember the number that we uh it was 50 it was 50 but i can't exactly say anything because i'm fucking no. tall. <laughs> that's why it was but relied I, I, on I, you other three uh, and luckily patu's brought it up no if i remember correctly we agreed on 50 uh you can give the uh, large lizard 20 so now she's so fond of that though yeah. <laughs> Smart and a uh, keen mind as well. I do like that. She will pay you each 50 gold, uh, 20 to you, Feeny. <laughs> okay. Um, she will look to your place. <laughs> if you're uh, looking for a place to rest up, I do have rooms here that you can use. But don't be expecting to keep using this place. Ilawi wants her temple back by tomorrow. Oh, that's perfectly fine. Yeah. Uh, um, so I do have a question. No, uh, go on. So, what is your question? I picked up this lovely little trinket. Uh, he's going to pull the blade of Lydros he picked up from their fight. It has a bit of a curse on it. I'd like to get removed. Do you know anybody who can take care of that? Curses aren't really our kind of thing. Uh, Ilawi might be able to know, but she would probably oh. just throw the sword back into the ocean herself. Mm -hmm. If you're after the more mystical side of things, there's a couple of places you could go to try and get that purified. The likes of Shurima come to mind. It's a bit of a long trek, but hey, there it really is. Uh, Freljord as well, maybe? The well, if I can find a place to take. Uh, Ionia would probably be your best bet, however. Yeah. Uh, oh, that sounds like a nice trip. She, she kind of looks down to you when you say that. It's like, no, we we're looking to get the curse removed, not curse everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you are free to travel there if you want to uh, take the little boat, but don't try and don't wander too far away, would you? I, you never know. You can all roll an insight on it. Oh my god. Okay. First off, though, she's like, oh yeah, no, you can go to Shreem or Freljord or something, but don't wander too far away. Those are leagues of fucking away from Bildwater. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell her it's is too distracted. Yep. Uh, Feeny and Patu, yes. Uh, Mariah, do you want to roll an insight? Yeah. Grumbler gets it as well. Actually, wait. Let me just check what the DC for this thing is, because this one is actually one that's mapped out. Uh, I probably uh, didn't get it. Uh, you don't, but, uh, actually, Golda doesn't either. Hold on. Uh, I thought that was <laughs> insight. It's a uh, DC 18. Okay, so, I'm still not going to beat yeah. it. So only Feeny and Patu get this. She is quite clearly taking notes of all your skills and abilities so that she can call on you for future jobs. Oh, well, you liked our work, I see. Very nice. It's mm. rare that I get new recruits that do it so efficiently and then uh, take some time out of their own to help some of my other allies. And she scratches the powder monkey under the chin. I do are, quite like powder monkeys. If you are curious, I do have another job that I may want you to do in the future. There's been rumours that my old rival, uh, Gangplank, the former Reaver King, may have survived. Uh, and if that is the uh, case, I'd like you all to investigate the rumours of how he may have survived that. I can't even say anything because it wasn't uh, Dolorous. Uh, uh, <laughs> Golder is going to walk over to the two. He's going to kind of hmm. like a ship, like. Uh, 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 uh. Dolorous looks equally confused. Uh. 
We were stopped by... Yeah. yeah, we were stopped by the ship that Gangplank used to use. Where are you now? Hmm. Yeah. Dreadway, so that still survives as well. Must have rebuilt it. Oh, uh, yes. Thank you for that I'll say it, I wasn't there. Thank you for that information. I'll have to keep an eye out for that as well. Uh, as I said, you are free to travel, but uh, do feel free to come back at any time. Plus, I do have ways and people out there to message you should I need you for a job and need you to come back. That doesn't sound half bad. If you want help removing that curse, however, I may have someone here that may be able to help you. And this is the point where I just uh, quickly uh, kind of rush around some sites to try and find a certain name. <laughs> because, uh, yeah. I do remember there being that one person from that one clip. Uh... That misfortune was trying to give twisted fate to that one time. Oh yeah, but I, I don't. I know what you're on about there, but uh, no, it's not going to be that. <laughs> it's a certain person, but I've tried to find it and I can't find it. And it's annoying. Uh, she'll just like there is a name that does come to mind, but for the love of me, I can't remember it right now. You all rest up, will. Get to that in the morning. Um, I guess I guess everyone else kind of going to rest up. Doris will walk up. So sort of like, I, I don't think we've actually been officially introduced. Um, How do my we... name's Delris. Delris. Yes. I believe last time they spoke to you, you conversed with my sister, Alari. My, you two really do look alike. We are twins. In no other one way? Um, yes, I just wanted to officially introduce myself and say thank you for your hospitality. Oh, you're more than welcome. Uh, saying your skills are quite well. Especially without so much reward. Although your sister is quite, how best to say it, pushy when it comes to rewards. <laughs> yes, she is. Um, she does not like the feeling of being undervalued in any way. She has always been the more talkative of the two of us in that way. In anyway. The... Go rest up for now. Go get your strength back. Yes. Uh, or tomorrow you travel. Yes. Thank you again. Um, she'll just kind of awkwardly walk away. <laughs> She'll just like, where she was directed to go sleep. <laughs> yep. So you're all directed to your rooms. That's the freaking art I wanted. Out. <laughs> just I was kind just of trying like... to find the person. I was like, who was it? It's that person. Just Delvers just awkwardly walking away, like, yeah. <laughs> so talking to people. <laughs> it doesn't give a fucking name. God damn you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, there it is. Yes. I got the name for the character. Okay. So, sorry about that, people that are watching this on YouTube. Uh, you'll see why this is important soon. So, as you all go to rest, you all get shown your own different rooms. And as you do so, uh, everyone else you're guided there by some of Misfortune's own people. Galda, you're also guided there by a powder monkey. 
<laughs> uh, it where it's just like hold the powder monkey, just like hugging it as he's yeah. being left on. Like he's just like da, 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 Mariah, you're guided though, however, by misfortune herself. Uh, cool, I guess. And before you enter the room, she places a hand on your shoulder. She's not really my favorite though. I'm League of Legends. I've never used her before. She places a hand on your shoulder all the same. And kneel down to your height. I kind of like, listen here, you little shit. So, what's this about rumors I've been hearing about a yordle helping your kind? A yordle helping? You know, the small mystical beings said to be I know what they are, of course. I've seen them before around. So, what's this I've heard about you getting some help from them? What have they got? What business do they have in Bilgewater? I wonder. Are they here just to see that know. annoying fizz, or are they here for other reasons? Just seems probably unusual. not going to lie. Just seems unusual that they would come here just before the harrowing starts, wouldn't you say? And uh, she's kind of just like drumming her hands on your shoulder. Your other hand comes over. And flicks one of your long ears, despite it being hidden. Don't worry, I'll keep quiet. Just remember who you work for. She gives you a sword of a squeeze before standing up and walking off. Yeah, bye! <laughs> no one ever said Misfortune was a 100% good guy in all this. <laughs> no. <laughs> Last time I said that part of the reason I love Bilgewater so much is because her and fucking ga gang bling. Not yeah. one of them. So, is your all rest up for the night? Get your spell slots back, get your HP back, get everything else back. That oh, thank God. Up. Aside from, <laughs> from Delrys, who gets woken up in the night being eaten by wharf rats. <laughs> 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 Why, you adorable little bastards? Why? <laughs> One of us there. I'm shaggy <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. Hi there, I'm shaggy teeth. <laughs> so, as you all wake up in the morning, you all gather up to find the crew of Miss Fortune gathering the stuff and getting ready to head out. Miss Fortune's still there. And I've actually remembered the names of the uh, worshippers of Nagadaboros now. They are called the Buru. <laughs> B-U-H-R-U. Yep. And a lot of them seem to be settling back in. When they need to move somewhere where one of the crew members are, they'll just shove them the fuck out of the way. Because, you know, Nagadaboros is all about movement. If you get in the way of movement, you're getting pushed the fuck aside. Uh, yeah, no, don't want to stand in front of a Buru. Yep. Uh, Feeney, you're definitely feeling some hostility in the air. Oh no. Because, you know, Targum. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Golder's looking at Feeney, seeing the hostility, seeing that these people like tentacles. Golder's just gonna take from his pouch like a little squid that he fished up one day, and he's just gonna climb up on top of Feeney and just plop it on top of her head. <laughs> Feeney, you have a squid on your head. Oh, okay. Uh, Mariah, That's not a half bad idea. The words from last night yeah. still ring through your head of what Misfortune said. Misfortune she said yeah. to you all. So, I hope you're rested up. We've put some upgrades on your ship so that it'll last the ocean trip. Don't worry. Uh, I'll just approach, though, Darrow's kind of stiffens a bit. Looks like... It's kind of... More nervous. Why so nervous? Nothing. I'm fine. I'm not nervous. Uh, I smell let social me, awkwardness. Let me just check what misfortune stats are for uh, this. Uh, she gets a plus three to wisdom for insight. Uh, roll me a deception. Yeah, Dalrus is not good at anything charisma based. <laughs> <laughs> Very obviously lying. She smiles, places her hand on your shoulder, looks to the rest. Excuse us one moment. 
It kind of drags you off now. We're still having a conversation. <laughs> so, what is up? Nothing, really. I'm going to ask again, and this time I'm not going to ask it for so friendly. What is on your mind? Lee, you know what this is. We talked about this. Lee.exe has stopped working as they tried to remember what it was. Can you privately message me what it is? Yes. Thank you. You'd think I remember, but my mind kind of did a 360 because it took all that processing power to try and remember the name of a fucking character. Which I have now done. So, you know, yay me. I should also probably spend this time to, you know, upload a fucking photo of them. I'm swearing a lot today. I apologize <laughs> to all the kids in the audience, Rebecca. It's the bilge water getting into your bloodstream. It's the salt. It's just salt. <laughs> I'm pure salt at the moment. Uh, yeah, da, 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 da. And I should state this as well. Yet again, any art that's been in this so far, it's been in Riot Games themselves. That's done the art. And the people the contracts out. This art, when it comes up, is actually going to be from a friend of mine. And for all 20, no. Okay, so let me just see what this is as I scroll here. Oh, right, right. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She is going to fucking insight you. <laughs> I mean, they're just, she passed the dessert, but she's better yeah. than my deception. She just looks at you, smirks. Oh, I get what's up here. Hmm? Looks to the rest. Looks to you. And she'll lean forward and actually uh, smooch Delris on the lips. Delris what? just kind of freezes <laughs> up like... What? <laughs> just gives you a pat on the shoulder. It's like, good luck with the trip, hun. And walk back over to the rest of you. Delris is just kind of frozen in place like... Ah. Uh, I'll, I would say, but I'll let you reveal that in character yourself at some point, uh, Delris. Yeah, so, yeah. She walks over to you all and pulls out what seems to be an old drawing. I have she a can't... old acquaintance living in Ionia, kind of hidden away, nice little hidden check. It'll probably take you some time to find them. But do you owe me a favour? And... Sure. Why not get done for this? She will hand you over this drawing. The name is Rakan. And before people say, no, it's not Rakan, the uh, person for that goes with Zaya. It's Rak H Han. Delris will kind of scooch back over, rejoin the group, face redder than you possibly thought it could be. It's that spelling of Rakan. Hmm. Why are you typing as a lorry? Uh, because when I was trying <laughs> to delete a giant thingy I posted word for the H, it kind of went to the... Okay. Uh, I will drag a picture out. Uh, they are the smaller of the two, it should be noted. And this art is done by a friend of mine, uh, Jen, aka Hedgerps. There you go. Oh. Go find them. They should be able to remove that curse for you. But I will ask this of you. Tell no one their location when you find it. Their kind is very much on the border of extinction at the moment. Uh, let me see if anyone would be able to, uh, tell this. Galder, I'd say that you'd be able to, given that you've lived ages and have done a lot of travelling. Feeny, nope, you've only been on Targon. They've never been to Targon. Mariah, nope, because you've only mainly gone between Bandola and 
pills for auto. For two? Yes. You would. And Alari, also yes. Uh, Delris, sorry. Also yes. Because even one. though you never saw Piltover itself, you saw Zone. And even though they really active in Zone, you may cut glimpses, but more importantly, Freljord. Uh, she won't remember anything from that, really. Oh, in that case, uh, you roll with disadvantage. Because her thing is that she's forgot everything since before the experiment. Yep. In that case, you roll with disadvantage to see if you caught any glimpses from Zone of them. What uh, is it? History? or? Uh, yes. Uh, for two, you can roll a history. And Galda, you can roll a history. Uh, no, no, just that a makes straight full sense. history. For two? Not just, not just for that, but also like where Delorus's head is at right now. For two? Yes. Uh, for two, it wouldn't be so much a history lesson for you. Because you look at these things and you quite clearly have seen creatures like this living in Piltover. A small little family hovel just near the outskirts. Mm. They tend to keep to themselves, but they're somewhat respected in Piltover. And Galder, what did you roll? Santa? Santa. Give it 10 seconds before we break out the queen. <sighs> yeah, you guys will find out what that was about eventually. Don't raging lesbian. Um, <laughs> <laughs> let's, be, let's be honest here. Um... But no, Golda's not really paying attention to the conversation. He's just kind of following a Kraken priest around, looking up at the sort of aesthetic, constantly being like, Calamari God. Okay. Uh, <laughs> in that case, you wouldn't have seen that either. So it's only Pitu that got to know that bit of information. Uh, yep. I will roll a thingy, though. Uh, they actually don't even realize you're Dergold as you're following them saying that. Like, he's, not, he's not making fun of them. It's more so his eyes are wide open at the fact that they're wearing like stuff that's got to deal with the ocean. Yep. And so he's just kind of like, like, shiny. Calamari got shiny. Oh, God, they're shiny. Galder's, Galder's just vocabulary is expanding. Oh no, I do have a written vocabulary for him. There are words <laughs> that he does that he can say, and then there are words that he can't. And so, things like octopus, a lot of it's like more nautical terms. So like, things like octopods or anything with tentacles is calamari. Anything that is gold or silver or even relatively shiny is shinies. Um... So. He can say yes or no as well, but he he doesn't like to. He's a wordy motherfucker. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let me just upload something quickly. Again. Uh, also, some people have seen a lot of fan art of one of me OCs, though, because I had that picture in that folder. Uh, Bilgewater. And I believe I called it. Oh, no, it's just there. That's fine. So. You're all given a world map. Well, aside from Gold and Thelris, because Thelris is too busy in the corner having a gay attack. <laughs> and. Pitu, uh, not Pitu, uh Golder is too busy waddling around after a priest. But... No, I said she, sco she scooched back over to the group. Okay. She's just not. Her face. Kind of redder than you think possible for her kind. I'm going to have to unfortunately clear some of this lovely, lovely drawings and icons because they'll most likely end up over the sphinx as I drag it out. No! The HMS, goddammit! <laughs> the HMS, goddammit! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No! 
sunk my battleship. What's up? World map. Hopefully that doesn't remain blurry forever. Why not go ahead and make a new page for that? I am filled with hate right now. <laughs> Hatred for my own idiocy. Because I destroyed a good little boat for that. <laughs> there we go. And it's nice and clear as well. And it's also on the background layer. So, here is the world map. You are all currently in Bilgewater, situated. Yeah. Wait. Uh, like we can't see you, Lee. You have to drag us to the new page. For fuck's sake. <laughs> yeah. Get us over there. Uh, Thank you. Dion, can you do me a favor? Give me a swift reins, for fuck's sake. For fuck's sake. There we go. There's the meme. Uh, you are all currently <laughs> in the boat water down here. They are sending you. Upwards towards Ionia. Yeah. Oh, good. We're not going in that, that, that direction. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. You could be going in, you know, this direction. Actually, currently, Ionia is like the worst place to be because the Noxus invasion and the wild magic's coming back to life. So you think this shit was messed up? We're going <laughs> to see some fucking constructs. <laughs> yeah, but it's more of a thing where my characters just don't. Yep. So, uh, you know, congratulations. Oh, Zahn is a hellhole. They ran no, away we... from there for a reason. Yes, but congratulations. Oh, yeah, no, not... you try to uh, get a curse removed on the sword, you're getting dropped in the middle of a fucking war. Not the worst thing that's happened to Platoon. I mean, we could go... Oh, shit, I just thought about something. Go on. We ever go to Demacia? Yeah, if you ever go to Demacia, like say, yeah. Alari and Feeney will get fucking arrested. I just not thought about that, because mages aren't allowed. It's not just that. If they, if you go to Demacia, that's all uh, magic inhibition there. Uh, which yeah. will, you know, remove Mariah's glamour. Yep. <laughs> Meaning they will see a Yordle that isn't poppy. And they'll probably kill Grumble too because he's void waken. So you know, Patu, you're fine. You're good, Patu. <laughs> Everyone else will have to fucking reroll, but Patu's good. The freaky bird man gets to live, yes. Yes, let's go to Ionia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean you could also just turn tail and go to Shadow House. Fine. Rocco told me to say yes to that if you were to ask. <laughs> Also, just a note as well, even though it's not... There's two places here that aren't listed on the map. One is Ikathia, which is where Golda was cursed, which is down here. Although yeah, Ikathia is not going to it no longer exists. Yeah. And also not listed is Bandle City, because Bandle City exists in its own little pocket dimension and is only accessible through little webways that the Yordles seem to be able to make themselves. It, it moves every couple of years. As yes. So, mention, um, the only person that will be able to know how to get there is Mariah. And we have to go there at some point, now that I think oh. about it, because all Yordles, Yordles must return to Bandal City or also slowly go insane. I mean, who's to say Mariah hasn't gone insane just yet? I mean, that's yeah, very no, true. She's really acting normal, but really, she's really crazy and is going to murder. Oh, oh really. my god, she's just fucking uh, Vigar without the hat. No, it just turns out she was. <laughs> it turns out she was hyperactive and crazy beforehand. Her normalcy is her being crazy. I mean, all Yordles are hyperactive and fucking insane. <laughs> exactly. Really start to develop like depression and. Because that's Vigar's issue. The reason Vigar's gone crazy is because he has incredible amounts of depression because fucking uh, Mordekaiser, before he was Mordekaiser, um, 
placed a curse on him to stop him from going into Vandal City. So he can't go to Vandal City anymore. And so he's got just massive amounts of depression and anxiety and shit like that. And it's just driven him crazy. Which on one hand, you know, it's good because it does some uh, lore building up for Vigar. But on the other hand, it removes that one lore thing that I loved where he tried to steal the rocket ship from the middle of Vandal City. Uh, and Timor yeah. okay. As interesting as Lord Dump is. Yeah, sorry about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Trust me, we could, we could talk for ages on fucking League of Legends lore. Yeah, I know. So, as you all gather your things, uh, they'll wish you gather your Joe off the floor. <laughs> uh, you all head out of the temple. And as you do so, Feeny, make me a dex check. A oh, dex gosh. save, sorry. Yep, you avoid the shoulder check. As a large figure walks past you, stops, oh. turns, and smirks as a lowey stares down at you. So, word is that you're moving off island. Going back to Targon, maybe? Back to your false gods. Why it, are you... It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as you keep moving, that's fine. That is the way of Nagadaboros. You may not know it yet, but your false gods... They are just a step down from Nagadaboros herself. All truly worship Nagadaboros in one way or another. And if they don't, well, the lives end. Simple as. Just keep that in mind, little one. Icathia! And he's just gonna fly. <laughs> Did I hear right? Icathia flosses. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get that image out of my head now. I'm sorry. It's just like, just the darkest Icathia. Camera zooms out. Thinking gold is flossing as everyone walks away. <laughs> So, you all head back to your, your small little robot. Which has now been given to you. This is your robot to keep. Yay. And as you head out onto the sea towards Ionia, is anyone remembering the certain thing that you have to do? Certain thing? This is where I grin maniacally as a DM, because I'm not going to reveal what it is that you need to do. This Pay the not... tithe. There you go. Yep. So, as you all set off onto the ocean, you all toss a coin over. Uh, if you have it, remove either one copper, one silver, or one gold, depending on what your lowest is. you all pay the tithe to stay Nautilus's hand. And do you want to know what the funnest part is? Mm -hmm. There's a roll chart through water. <laughs> the quite literally is as well. I've tried to find it. Uh, I think this is it. Uh, yeah, beyond bilge water. Uh, Miles of Sea with fearsome sea creatures and deadly reefs. Also has its share of perils. Uh... So. As you're going along. It should be noted as you're going along as well. You should also keep an eye out for the Buru. Uh, roll me a religion check to find out why. Is that all that was ruling religion check? Yes. Uh, nope, for Feeny and Patu. Uh, Feeny, yet again, it's not your religion. You struggle with it. Patu. Eh. Delaris. Patu is not a highly uh, religious character. <laughs> uh, yeah, unfortunately not. Uh, Galder. 17, that will do. Uh, Galder, 
You know that the Buru do not allow non-natives to live outside the confines of Bilgewater. And therefore, if they find you on the seas, they will most likely try to sink you. What? You don't know this in character. You don't know this, Delrys. Yeah, I know, but why? Because that is the way of Nagadaboros, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> So they know, keep he, moving by reason, stopping people from moving? Yeah, for some reason it doesn't explain that shit. <laughs> they, they keep... Their thing is keep moving, but they stop people from moving? I think it's more a case of because of the dangers. It's like, yep, nope, we're too close to the Shadow Isles. If anything sinks here, it could be washed towards the Shadow Isles. That's my understanding of it anyway, so I'm just putting that spin on it for now until... But then they sink you! Yes. Admittedly. Admittedly not the best plan. <laughs> <laughs> Either way. Bang. One. Nothing happens. I'm going Hello, to say... welcome back. Oh, Can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we try to work out something here, Loy wise if you could help. There, there, there are three reasons why the priests do what they do. One is that Naga Kabors is a kraken. Those that go to the bottom of the sea feed her. Um, the second one is if you allow yourself to stop moving, and if you did not fight through, then you were weak. And if you were weak, then you should have never existed in the first place, and therefore you were merely food for the ocean. And the third is the Shadow Isles. Hey, I was the Shadow Isles is a dark place that plays tricks on the minds. Boats that come from there, or even from other areas could always carry the curse of the Isles. And then the fourth reason is Gangplank. They don't like Gangplank coming in. Yep. Elawi hates Gangplank. So, you know, I was right about one of them. I was caught it, right? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, and then I guess you could say the fifth is Noxus because they're conquering everybody currently. Oh, yeah. So, But there's no evidence that they actually want to conquer Bilgewater because Bilgewater doesn't have a king. They only want to conquer countries with kings. I'm going to say that it's going to take roughly... I'm going to point it as every five foot would be like a day's travel. At the best, on the ocean. So that's going to yeah. take four days to get to Ionia. Day one, when you leave, nothing really happens. You all take your turns getting some sleep. Day two. I should, I should just make a little boat for you. Boat. <laughs> Your boat is now currently here. There we go. It's facing the wrong way. Uh, yeah. At least it's on the right layer. I was getting worried for a second there. There it is. There's your little boat. I will put it Beautiful. Who wants control over the boat? Who is the boatman? Um, uh, definitely not boat. me. Nope. I'm I'm land vehicles. Uh, yeah. Not proficient. Yeah, that's between both me and uh, Patu and Galder then, because we're both um, proficient with it. Patu <laughs> can communicate. What? Sorry. Say that again. Patu, because Patu can communicate. Yep. So we'll give it to Patu. Uh, Yay. There we go. What was the name of your boat, by the way? Because you came up with a name. Also, god damn it, just come up with my freaking full name while I tried to type that shit in. Get out of here. I don't think you did come up with name. No, what name did you use for the little boat that were on the front screen? Oh, the H, the HMS god damn it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Delworth is pretty quiet, which is quite the contrast from... Alari. There you go. They hit your mess, goddammit. <laughs> Galder is just poking Delris constantly, just like, nip, 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 nip. She'll just be kind of looking at him like, what? He just kind of looks up at her and just, nip. So, day two comes by. And the waves start to stir around you slightly. Hmm? 
It's not disturbing the boat too much. But then a head pokes out of the water. Oh boy. Delvers kind of has her staff at the ready. Is it is it like when you say head, is it the head of a beast or is it like a humanoid head? Uh, or is it just fizz? It's the head of a beast and you can roll me natures on this. Eleven. Nice. Uh, Delaris, no. Feeny. <laughs> you think it's a bit of a? You think it's a bit of a driftwood of maybe an elephant's trunk? Galda, yes. Pitu, yes. Maria. Also, yes. The whole thing of it, maybe it's a bit of driftwood of an elephant's trunk is a pun because of what these things are. Maria, uh -huh. no. These are plesiosaur. Oh. And as you look over to it, another head pops up on the other side of the boat. There are two plesiosaurs. They are going to see if they can spot you. Are they hostile? Uh. Let me see, first of all, if they see you. Uh, one of them doesn't. One of them does. As it looks over, <laughs> you're not seeming to bother it. It's not bothering you. The other one, however, kind of goes back under the water. Hasn't noticed you. And then you feel like a boom on the bottom of your boat. <laughs> as your boat starts to rock back and forth. Mm. <laughs> Hold. Golda looks over to see. Maybe it was just a love tap. Uh, Guy just looks over. You, see the, you better hope that was a love tap. You see the plesiosaur swim out from underneath and raise its head up. And it's got kind of like a little bump on its head. Aww. Aww. To, to, the, to the one that's just kind of like looking at us like it noticed us, um, Delris will just kind of lower her staff and just kind of put it away. And then just kind of hold out a hand to the one to kind of say, like, you know, Animal. to essentially pet it if it'll allow her. Animal handling. Why did it roll twice? <laughs> it kind of leans its head forward slowly, and then kind of retracts its head. It doesn't seem to be hostile. But at the same time, it seems like it doesn't want head pets. Okay. It's just like Silla. <laughs> Gold is just going to sit back down. Go I'll back try to the I'll try the other one with the bump on its head. Uh, Maybe it wants head pats after banging its head. Roll that one. With, you will roll this one with disadvantage because, you know, it bumped its head. Yeah. It's not in the best of moods. Mm, actually, no. You're not going wrong. She'll think about it and then she'll just no. Okay. Uh, so if you're all just admiring them, they will swim away after a bit. At this point, it gets to night time again on day two. And now, rather than just saying that you all have your rests, I'm going to need you all to set me up a watch. Uh, I'll take first. Okay. Two. I would imagine Patu's probably not going to go to sleep that way he can keep the ship going the right way. Okay, so uh, if you're not going to sleep, you will suffer one level of exhaustion. Mm. But not one I level. mean, unless, unless he swaps out with Grumble. But would Grumble do that, Santa? Okay. okay. In that case, it's just uh, Patu and uh, Galda that need to make me what uh, perceptions. Okay. Uh, first of all, uh, Patu. Perception. And Galda. You also don't see out. Nothing happened that night. <laughs> and this will be the last day. 
Nothing happens during the daytime. As you see Ionia slowly coming into view on the horizon. And then your last night. Another seven happens. If I get another seven. Okay. I'm going to say if I get another seven, that's just lucky. Uh, you don't need to make me watch it because I rolled and nothing was going to happen. So. Daytime arrives. And you all make landfall on Ionia. It's a very different locale to how Bilgewater was. The air is a bit cooler here. The temperature, a bit brighter, a bit warmer. Cherry blossoms seem to be in... I wanted to say in spring, but in bloom. That's the word I'm looking for. Cherry blossoms seem to be in bloom at the moment. The petals scattering on the winds. As you tie up, find somewhere to tie up the ship. Mm -hmm. And you've landed in a small town in Ionia. I feel like this is a point where I should probably load up the Ionia map to start get some. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, just so you know, I can see if there are any actual named towns in Ionia. You make landfall in one of these little portside towns. And already the atmosphere is much different to Bilgewater. It doesn't seem to be as rowdy as was just it seems to be actually like a calm order and control over it. As people just stop by, buying the wares, buying little trinkets. There seems to be some people like visiting from other lands. But you don't recognize any Bilgewater people. Hmm. Maybe not. I've never been to a place like this. As far as I can remember, anyway. Galdra just kind of shrugs. And they will. I will have someone roll a perception on you. They kind of just give you a quick glance over. You don't seem to be in any Noxus uniforms. And there's no really icon, uh, any symbolism on you stating that you're a risk. So they just kind of smile. Welcome you to Ionia. Well now, aren't they friendly? Indeed. Okay, so you are on the small island known as. Is there a zoom button there, or do I have to just quite literally lean in and see that? Uh, you are on the smaller islands of Ionia, just there to the south. And you know that uh, this place is called Bahrul. B A H R L. That's the name. Yes. You know, there's a couple of little points of interest here. But at the same time, you're not too sure if this is a place that would be there. This place does, however, seem to be somewhere that doesn't have as much invasions of Noctus. Something that I'd assume most of you would be familiar with by now, from the tales being spread around. Basically, you know, if anyone's walking around with a symbolism that looks like a giant axe, you probably don't want to be going up to them. Hmm. Here, guys, I'm going to... Sorry, but I got the cola tear. That's okay. Sorry. It's okay. He's it's fine. fine. Good night. Go rest. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Have fun with the rest. Of you. Have fun with the rest. Of this. Uh. See you. See ya. Bye. Uh. Bye. Galder. Galder. You're the traveler of us all. 
So, you can roll me a history. Let's see if you know anything else about this little island. That's a 17. You know <laughs> there to be three major locations in Viral. You know there to be Tevasa, which is a little city up in the mountains. A little area on the side of the mountains called Wuju, where you think like some kind of style was developed, but you're not too sure. And the Ipul River, which is just a bit away from where you have tied up your ship. On top of that, Mariah, roll me in a wisdom check. Going off what the map is currently saying, you get a slight tingling sensation through your body. <laughs> you know that on this island currently is the entrance to Badal City. Oh, we can go out there and have lots of good times. I love the fact that you mentioned that the Yodels are supposed to be like hyperactive and giddy and that lot. Rose, <laughs> Mariah just perks up. <laughs> But yes, uh, where are you starting your search? Uh, was there a map of Ionia? Uh, there is, but I'm trying to find a way to actually zoom out of this place without it uh, being a thing. So just give me a second while I work this up with my little mouse. Uh, oh, I actually can. That works. Uh, Hello. 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 Grumble's going to the river. Mm -hmm. Guess we'll follow Grumble. Okay, so now. you follow Grumble towards the Epole River. And there is a map of Ionia, so let me just print screen this. There's a little bit as well below it where there's like another little temple, but that doesn't matter for now. Uh, I'll post this in the chat for you, because it's a screen grab, basically. Uh, there you go. There's Ionia. You're currently Delightful. near that Ipul River on this small island, just below where it says, just below the little glowing golden mark that is Bandle. <laughs> so, as you head towards the river... You arrive there, and the plants seem to be in an unusual bloom. There seems to be life springing forth. And as you look into the river, you swear you see some kind of shape quickly swim by. Mm -hmm. You can roll with perceptions. Yes, for Dolores. No for Patu, no for Mariah, and Grumbler. God. <laughs> uh, perception, please. Ah. Oh, that's the, that is 17. Uh, yes, you and Dolores spot this. You think you just saw like a mirror person swim by in the river? Gold is jumping in. Or as they call it, uh, <laughs> is it Mari? Amara? What do they call the uh, friggin' fish people in League? Uh, Nani, lol. What are your species called? I forget. Are, are, are you talking about Nami's people? Yeah, uh, Marai. Yeah, they're like the they're like the Ari or something like that. Yeah. Uh, Marai tribe. Or the Marai. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, you see this mer person, and then you see Golda quite literally dive in after them. Ah. Uh, oh, boy. There was someone swimming in there. Not Golda. Someone else. <laughs> A mer person, I think. Uh, How fast is their swim speed? 
very fast. But how as much as very? Like a 60 foot twin speed. Oh, okay. They're, they're double than mine. No, wait, hold on. Maybe not. Oh, yeah, no, they're double than mine. I mean, I could dash after them. Oh, I can also just talk underwater, too. He also, like, uh, <laughs> he also definitely heard your splash. <laughs> it kind of doubles up to turn around to face you. I'll say this right now: it's not Nami, but it is another Mirai. This is just kind of. Watching. I mean, there's, there's a lot of them. Hmm. Just he just kind of. of hmm, sorry. They're just kind of watching you as a curiosity. He's just kind of swimming. Kind of forgotten that it's there, just swimming around, just laughing to himself. <laughs> You do hear a voice echo from underneath the water. What an unusual life for him. And it speaks as well under the water so gracefully. Alari probably would have followed well, there that was probably would have followed the shadow of him down river. Just kind of like staring under the like under the water, like uh. Yep. He starts doing the grumble shuffle under the water, like. It's with that nat twenty. It spots you coming, and just raises its head above water. <gasps> oh, more visitors. Uh, greetings, I suppose. Uh, you're not native to Ionia, are you? No. Hmm. And yet. I don't sense any threat from you. We don't mean you any harm. Looks around you, looks over you all, looks to Patu. Oh, you have a Vestayan with you. Uh, I don't believe I've seen you around. Uh, you local to these parts, or...? Uh, no, I am not local. Oh. Huh, a fast iron that lives off of Ionia. I've heard of tales, but still. <laughs> Talking about my stallion and saying like you hear about tales. But da 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 <laughs> Still, uh, what brings you to Ionia then? Well, what brings uh you to the one in the water I'm assuming is with you as well? Uh, yes, that's a Golder. Uh, He's just doing a chicken dance now. What brings you free yeah, here? Uh, it's quite clear why you're here, points to Mariah. Uh, you're probably heading yeah. on your way back home, aren't you? Um. Yeah. Uh, she's pointed to you and gone, you're probably heading on your way back home, aren't you? Uh, I don't know. Oh, come now. Uh, it may be a secret from the humans, but between uh, your kind and our kind, we know that Bandle may be around. Then again, uh, you know, Kenan doesn't really mind the tongue too much around some of us. Kenan's popped his way home just to refresh himself up. Uh, you would know, Mariah, that Kenan was a yodel that pretty much took up quite a bit of residency in Ionia. Yeah. And she looks to you, Doris. So, why are you on here? Um, we are looking to so for someone to help us remove a, a curse on an oh. object. That uh, we came into possession of. Patu just kind of pulls out the sword again, showing it off. She looks at it. She's going to roll a friggin' uh, thingy on it. Boom. Ducks back underwater quickly out of fear. No, it's oh. okay. Sorry. <laughs> you see her raise back up a bit further down the river and just shouts out, Is that from the Shadow Isles? 
We got Maybe. it out from one from the Shadow Isles. Toss it back in the sea. The two just puts it back on his back. We would, but he really wants to keep it. Why? <laughs> Why? Just like, insert Marge Simpson meme of P with Petusa just like, I just think it's neat. <laughs> yes. Either way, do you know anyone who could help us? I suppose, uh, if it's a uh, Shadow House, it'd be spirits wise. Uh, it would be an extreme risk for you all, but you could ask the King Koo. King Koo? King Koo! I am going to need Galda to roll me another one of them lovely histories because Galda would be the only one else you lot that I wouldn't know, possibly. <laughs> Santa? Discord keeps fucking. Oh, you know. that, that, that is a natural 20. Yeah, you fucking know what the Kinku order is all about. Uh, yeah. I was about to say it's up to you to reveal that in characterizing, and then I remembered. <laughs> I mean, Galder can still mime it. That is true. Uh, either way, the Kinku might be your best bet, but uh, I suppose some Vastaya may be able to as well. Then, of course, you have the Yordles, but bring anything Shadow Elves to the Yordles may be a bit risky. Plus, outsiders going to Bandle City might be a bit risky in general. They don't really take kindly to, uh, well, to some people. Also, just... Bandle City as a whole just is like LSD for humans. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but uh, she wouldn't know that herself because she's never been to Bandle herself. Yeah, no, none of us would. I'm just stating that out. There is OOC knowledge. It's like LSD for humans. It does not look anything like we think it does. Yep. So, there are those. Uh, aside from that, wise men, mystics, uh, shamans, maybe. This I'm one. partially out of character. I feel like Patu would ask her if she knows about the person that Miss Fortune mentioned, but at the same time, I'm like, Miss Fortune said not to really reveal that too much. You could try and ask about them without revealing fully about the species and that lot, or that you know, I'm just like try and edge out of them with sort of little information details. Hmm. Exactly. My brain cannot process all of the complete information that was given though, so it's... Basically, the information that you know is, they are a mystic or shaman, they're not human, they're part of a race that's going extinct. You would also notice from the picture that the person wasn't alone in the picture. Behind him was a large orc. We were um, informed of a specific uh, wise person or shaman who traveled with an, an orc. Traveled with um, an orc. Traveled they're with not orc. human. Traveled with an orc. I can't recall the, who you talk about, but I do believe I have seen an orc around here recently. A tall, greyish skin, heavily armored. Yes. 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 Oh, right. Uh, continue following this river upstream uh, until you get roughly just like halfway into the jungle there. Uh huh. And. Look for any areas that seem to be like a clearing, like any recently chopped down trees. They may be there. Okay. Thank you very much. Also, just between us, a little bit of advice for you outsiders. 
Mm. Don't trust anyone with an axe near on their armor. And watch the shadows. Okay. Thank you. Really noted. And as the before you set off, she will pull you. She'll motion for you to step to one side as well, Pitsu. Okay, two does she so. Will whisper to you. Keep an eye on the human. You know, you know how some Vastayans can be about humans around here. Mm. So, you know, keep an eye out for them as well. Yeah. I'm only Thank I'm you. only saying this in whispers because they look human, but the fire, you know that lot. I don't know. It's a bit strange that one. Is she talking about Mary? No, she's talking about. No, uh, Delris. she's talking about Delris. Delris. She knows. Ah. She knows. Mar she knows Mariah's a big idol. Hmm. Yeah, she is a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, so maybe keep an eye on her. Also, make sure she doesn't bend the forest down. Ooh. She nods and dies back under the water before resurfacing and placing gold on the surface again. And she swims off. Just like a. Okay, there's your, there's your cobalt back. Boy! <laughs> so, as you carry on heading into the forest. Roll me some perceptions. Perception is. I mean, to be fair, you've, it's better you've got Delris right now rather than Alari. Yeah, she does mm. have the best for perception. Oh, go. Yeah, it's definitely better given, you know, you're the only one that passed. Uh, I freaking have proficiency with this and I'm not getting any good rolls with it. <laughs> you missed, I know. You missed what happened in a game yesterday. We were given the magical items to identify. I kept rolling nat fucking 20s on it. As soon as we got into a fight, I couldn't roll a nat 20 out. You rolled four nat 20s <laughs> yesterday. And then when I got into combat, I rolled a nat 1. Lady Luck was no longer I on your even, side. I wasn't a magical person. I'm a fucking barbarian in that game. It's the thing. Just Lee rolled four nat 20s. <laughs> Anyway. And one other person got a nat 20 as well. As you continue through the woods, <laughs> Delris, you spot something yeah. darts out the corner of your eyes. Hmm? A small figure just kind of darts along. Just kind of keeps an eye and just kind of goes, Who's there? Mm-hmm. Just kind of... There's someone around us. Just silence. Oh, someone's being a chicken and not coming out to say hi, are they? We mean you no harm. Hey, you calling chicken a... <laughs> we mean you no harm. You can come out. Nah, uh, uh... I think not. Thank you. Uh, damn it, where's the keystone? Where's the keystone? Oh, that. is it a yordle? You don't know this. In character wise, you don't know this. <laughs> Out character wise, you do know this because you know the league lore as well. But in character wise, you wouldn't know this. Uh, Mariah, you can roll me a perception on that though. Let's see if you picked up on the keystone part. Yes, you did. You know this is a fucking yordle. <laughs> come out, come out wherever you are. I'm one of you. Don't worry. You just I might not look like you. Just see like a bit of silence there, like Mariah, that you? It is me. And a small figure steps out from the shadows. A small figure, dressed in red and gold. Sister, you be doing looking good. With a tall, curly hat and a stick in hand. My brain actually have a sprock. Her light purple furred skin. Just like, kind of reflecting the sun. And shortly afterwards, she is followed by what seems to be a small fae. 